Hey guys, it's Friends Gaming here, and welcome back to another YouTube video. Today, we're going to be doing some more YouTube tips. Now, as you can probably tell by the title, we are going to be covering how to set up a gaming YouTube channel in today's video. However, if you do want to suggest topics for me to cover, tell me in the comment section down below what you'd like me to cover um, in future videos or future sort of tips videos. But yeah, this video is going to be useful for anyone who is thinking of starting up a YouTube channel or already has a small YouTube channel, um, just to make sure you're doing all the things that you should be doing. Uh, to really make yourself look professional and kind of get you off the mark. Now, obviously, I've been doing YouTube across three different channels over the past three years. Obviously, this is my first one where I've really sort of gotten anywhere with it. So I wanted to give you guys my tips, obviously, based off of what I've been trying to do for the past few years. And so, yeah, let's just get straight into our first tip. We will cover five different tips in this video. Our first one is, you know, obviously, you need something to record your gameplay with. Now, this needs to be something proper. Like, I know, you, you know, people obviously like, oh, I've got my camera that I'm going to record it with, but... It's going to be very difficult to grow if you record something with your camera, but people don't realise how many options there are for things to record your gameplay with. There is, um, in the PS4 you've got the built-in recorder, you've, I think you've got a built-in recorder on Xbox as well. On PC there's tons of free software such as OBS, um, I think you can get the, the trial of Bandicam, but I don't really like that because it has it on. OBS is probably your best bet for that. Um, there's tons of free stuff for PC. Obviously, you're a bit more limited with PS4. I mean, if you do want to spend some money, obviously, you've got the Roxio, which is some people forget about a lot. That's a lot cheaper than an Elgato. Obviously, I'm sure everyone knows about Elgatos. Um, but personally, I would go with a Roxio capture card. They are really kind of solid if you want to use a capture card. But, you know, remember, you can always just use PS4 or the Xbox. You can actually copy stuff onto the USB and put it onto the PC to edit on the PC. Uh, you don't, you're not kind of restricted to just uploading things straight off. But they're the sort of main things to recording gameplay. Um, apart from maybe something like Wii U or DS, but I'm not that experienced in that. I'm talking mostly about consoles and PC um, with the whole recording. But my second tip here will be something to record your audio with. Now, this may not apply to everyone because not everyone uses audio, but it really does help if you're speaking in your videos, you know. It, it obviously makes a huge difference. Um, so I recommend as soon as you can. Now this can just be your headset mic, uh, that's what I used to get to my first 400 subs, I didn't buy a microphone until close to a thousand subs, uh, actually now I think about it. Uh, I do use a blue snowball, if you do want to spend some money, that is by far the cheapest top quality microphone you can get. Um, however, even if you're using something like a headset mic, get Audacity on your computer, you can make your audio sound perfectly fine even with just something like a headset microphone or a really poor quality microphone, Audacity can do wonders for your audio, so don't feel like you have to go out and splash the cash on an expensive microphone when you're not 100% sure about what you're doing with YouTube. Now my third tip for this video is going to be, um, obviously, like I sort of mentioned, Audacity, just some editing software for your actual footage. Now I know the PS4 again has Share Factory, which is a built-in free to use um, editing software, Xbox I um, don't think has any but again I don't have an Xbox One so might not be correct. Obviously you've got your basics like Windows Movie Maker and stuff for PC but if you do want to spend some money uh, there are lots of free ways of getting versions of Sony Vegas uh, I do recommend you try and get them. I have Sony Vegas Pro 13 uh, which I just think is amazing. You can pay for a lot of these but I do recommend you can probably find a way to get a lot of them for free or free trials and stuff so go out give them a go and you can get some really top end editing software for a really cheap price or even completely free now number four is going to be uh, one of the most important ones for me is to look professional now i will make some videos in the future if you want on this but i'm talking about logos you know you've got your banners and stuff thumbnails are something that a lot of small channels don't use and it's so hard to get noticed your YouTube search when you're a tiny channel or just starting out is your best friend That is where most of your views will come from now if you have a thumbnail That's gonna make you stand out a lot more on the YouTube search results, so I do recommend thumbnails are a huge gem One other thing I also notice smaller channels doing which really isn't that great is also that you should Shouldn't use those kind of like I have an intro you may have noticed on the start of my video using intros like that really you know, people aren't going to watch the whole video. They have a very short attention span. So if you're taking up that kind of 15 second optimal attention span with a 10 second intro, it's really not worth it. Now, when you get a bit bigger, people already know what your content's about. People are already coming back. But they're just quickly clicking on your video, seeing what it's about. They'll have sometimes even clicked off it before the intro's ended. Um, so you really want to get their attention as quickly as possible. And that intro is really taking up a good proportion of that time. So... 
Because looking as professional as possible, get some good logos, some good channel art, so people know you're serious about your channel and that you upload quite a lot. Now my final tip will be to set up social media that is not your personal account. So set up a Twitter for example for your YouTube channel, maybe an Instagram, a Facebook, whatever you want to do. I would recommend Twitter as the main one as it really does help a lot. But just general little things like that, they can help an awful lot. So you just want to set up social media accounts, make sure they're not your personal social media accounts. Set up some separate ones just for YouTube and that will really help you guys out with growing. Uh, I will make some videos in the future on how to grow with social media as well if you want that. Remember guys, tell me in the comment section down below. Uh, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe if you are new around here. Um, I will be posting more videos like this in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh,